Hey there, friends. I hope you're doing well and getting some paint on your minis. Today I'll be painting Kato Ezekiar for my Soulblight Gravelords army for Age of Sigmar. Now I actually haven't painted anything for this army for like almost a year now since I last painted like 20 skeletons to fill out the undead ranks in my army. And honestly, I've kind of forgotten the colors that I use, but I'm not too worried because I keep a painting journal. So thankfully, around the same time that I actually started this Soulblight Gravelords army, I was reconnecting with an old friend of mine who also paints miniatures. And I found out that he keeps a painting diary, and he asked me why I didn't keep one. And my brain was immediately like, why would I keep a painting diary? That's precious time that I could be spending just painting more models. I don't need this. But thankfully, he actually convinced me to just give it a shot. And honestly, it has saved my ass multiple times. This little book right here has made my life so much easier. I feel like a lot of painters, or at least newer painters, don't keep a painting diary. Um, it's not something that you think of. It's when you're getting into the hobby, you're thinking, I need brushes, I need paints, I need models, I need sculpting tools, whatever. But you never think book and pen. Now there's a few reasons why I think keeping a journal is a huge boon to your workflow. Consistency and flow throughout a project is so super important. It's something you might not think of when you start a project, uh, but when you come back to it, uh, it's really gonna help you to have a frame of reference so that you can keep that consistency from start to finish. If you paint multiple things, uh, multiple warbands, multiple armies, forces, whatever you call it, something that you're coming back to time and time again, when you come back to it, you're going to find that you spend a lot less time prepping and setting up to get into that, a lot less time backstepping in order to adjust your process, and you're just gonna spend that time painting. You're gonna spend that time getting things done. Having a journal to reference is like a lifeline that keeps you moving through a project instead of stumbling along the way, trying to figure out what you did last time and how you can get from point A to point B efficiently. Documenting your projects will help you immensely to just become a better painter. It helps you evolve on your previous processes and find the weaknesses in them and things that you can cut out in order to increase your output time. You can take the data in your diary and find things such as what colors do I have a tendency to use? What have I done in the past to achieve this style of painting and how can I apply that on future projects? There's so much that you can gather from this written data that will help you just see how you have evolved and will help you change your current processes so you can evolve even further. Something else great about keeping a painting diary is that it simply just lightens your mental load so that you can paint more. When you sit down and return to some project that you haven't touched in a while, it can be a bit strenuous to, to sit there and be like, okay, uh, I see these colors here. I think I used this purple. I think I used this green. I think I used this shade of beige. Uh, but if you can just sit down at your desk and reference those, those notes, and just be like, I did this, I did that, I did that, I'm gonna grab this paint, I'm gonna grab this paint, and I'm good. And you just start painting, it just feels so much better, so smoother, it just streamlines your process and makes you more efficient as a painter, and just saves you time. Being able to share your documented process with others is also a huge benefit for having a journal. I can't count on one hand how many times I've gone to a store uh, to sit down and play a game with someone and they see something and they say, wow, that model looks awesome. How did you do that? And I'll be like, wow, I think I used like this shade of green and I did some like texturing here with, with this paint and blah, 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 blah. And while that's fine, it's not exactly 100% accurate because I'm not going to remember that all the time. So with a diary, you can actually take that documented step-by-step -step process and share that with someone else and also at the same time, you, you, you'll see those steps and because you've done it a few times, you can read over uh, that flow and make it better. You can 
tell someone that you're sharing this process with, which also helps you. Wow, okay, so I did edge highlighting here, but I probably could have just done some quick dry brushing and saved myself like five minutes per model. And when you're doing like 20 of them, that's a lot of time that you could be spending doing something else. So it allows you to share your work with someone else in a very step-by-step -step process so it is repeatable while also having that information there so that you can improve on it both for yourself and for others. Something else you can use a journal for is actually tracking the amount of time that a project takes you. Why that is good is one, if, if you're a commission painter, it helps you evaluate how long certain types of projects take you so that you can get the most value out of your time when quoting someone for the next job you're taking on. But also something very beneficial about tracking your time on a project is that it allows you to come back later and say, okay, I took this step last time. What if I cut that back a bit? So you can, you can go back and find inefficiencies in your workflow and turn them into efficiencies. And I'm sure there are many other benefits to keeping a painting diary that I haven't even thought of. Uh, I know some people um, like specific blends of colors. So maybe you like a, a two part blue from this line of paint and a one part green from this line of paint, mixing those together to make this you know, color that you can't find anywhere else. People will take that, mix it right on the pages of their journal and write out how they made that color. So then you can apply that specific blend of color to many projects over time. Now this all might sound like a lot of extra work, but honestly, spending that five minutes at the end of your day, the end of a project is just going to help you so much more in the future and reduce downtime, allowing you to spend more time just painting minis and having fun. So give a painting journal a try. It might sound like a bit of extra work, but just spending that five minutes at the end of a project, you may find it to be truly helpful. Thanks again for watching my video. Every like, comment, subscribe is going noticed right now, and every morsel of feedback is truly helpful and appreciated. It allows me to make this space a better place both for you and for me. Uh, I'm just learning through this process, and every little bit is very helpful. Uh, so yeah, per usual, paint today for a better tomorrow. Get some paint on some minis, take a load off, have fun. Till next time, see you later. Bye. Okay, hear me out on this one. It's got the wings. It's standing on a tactical skull. Do people hate Games Workshop right now or do they love them? They hate them. Wait, love them. Let me check red, I'll be right back. Blood Bowl? Are you an idiot? Count Dooku? Old man lightsaber? Some old fart from Star Wars prequels? Battletech. Battletech. What do you mean people hate Battletech? So I 3D printed this alien. It's pretty cool. Do it. Just do it. Just pick any of them. It's been six hours. I did have to green stuff the finger though. Uh. Uh, I could do a vampire, or is that too edgy? She's pointing, is that accusatory? Oh. That was weird.